According to Gunderson Health System, in 2021, over 1,700 babies were welcomed into the world through Gunderson Hospitals alone. With the new addition of their Avbirth technology, nurses in the labor and delivery department are using a birth simulator to mimic real-life situations. News Now's Michael Germain was at Gunderson this morning and has more on how this technology works. Ken, previously Gunderson nurses were using patient simulation mannequins to simulate giving birth. But within the last year, new technologies have allowed them a more realistic learning experience. So we have a simulator called Lucina. Um, she is a high fidelity mannequin. She is essentially a full body person who gives birth. But with that capabilities, all you get really is the birthing aspect of the simulation. Which is why Gunderson Health System has implemented their new birthing simulation called Avbirth. The simulator allows you to communicate with a real person. It allows the standardized patient to scream and express what's happening while they're giving birth. The Avbirth is a wearable technology paired with a watch worn by an actor which tells them when they are having contractions. The patient will get a vibration on their wrist telling them when they should scream or moan. The belly, the abdomen, will actually contract like a real person's belly does when they're giving birth. Carly Beisman, the manager of the Integrated Center for Education, says the simulation is very accurate compared to a real-life birth. With having a real person, with having it a wearable technology, we can go into different positions because we're wearing it um, instead of a high fidelity mannequin that essentially just lays there. Beisman adds they've simulated births in a van coming into the hospital as well as the labor and delivery room. So it's just more real life for the nursing staff and for the clinicians to be able to practice um, those situations that we might encounter here on our unit. Jennifer Gilbertson, a professional development nurse for Gunderson, says the new technology has resulted in better care. So ultimately, if we're able to practice these um, either ordinary situations or these high-risk situations, we're able to practice them in a safe, simulated environment. Which has allowed staff members to get a better understanding of delivering a child. But now that we actually have a human being that we can have a conversation with and do the same skills that we would be doing, whether it is the Avbirth or the mannequin, staff have really found it to be helpful. The labor and delivery team at Gunnarsson Health System plans on continuing using the Avbirth simulation. Gunnarsson officials say more departments are now using it, including Gunnarsson Air. Ken, back to you. All right, Michael Germain, live in studio. Thank you, Michael.